Hi everyone, Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass, and today I want to do a theme review for Shopify. And the theme I'm going to review today is a debut theme. It's the free theme that comes pre-installed every Shopify store. I just wanted to give you guys a quick review just so you get an understanding of how it works and if you should keep it for your Shopify store. So today on my theme review, I'm going to review under five categories. Those are speed, customization and features, mobile optimization, the homepage, as well as the price. So to start off, let's start off with the home page. I have this loaded here on our main page. I did a little bit of customization just to get it to a basic state. Overall, it's got good customization for the home page. There's quite a few features, that you can, as you can see on the left, different options you can add to your home page, giving it a different overall feel based on how you want to do it. It has customer testimonials, it has featured collections, a hero gallery at the top here, it has images with text. It's got the overall basic features you would want on a home page. And there is customization, how you can move it around. Additionally, on the homepage, and as well as the entire website, there is a promotional banner you can have on top. There are other apps you can use on the Shopify app store to get the same effect, such as the free shipping bar as well. But this gives you a basic start, especially when you're starting out. And it's good overall, but it has some cons in the sense that there aren't a ton of customization options. There are also a lot of premium themes that give you a very advanced feel to your homepage, very customizable, a lot of pre-built layouts, Whereas this theme is more basic, it's got the basic sections, but there's not an ability to customize in terms of how they all fit together. It's more sequ sequential row by row. So overall, I would give that an eight out of 10 for the homepage. It's good starting out, but if you want to get more advanced, there are some cons there. Additionally, the homepage looks similar to the rest of the Shopify sites that start out because they all use the debate theme. So I think if you want to stand out a little bit, it'll be a little more unique to tell your brand, to tell your story, which is really what Shopify is meant for. You should upgrade to another theme if you're looking for that. But just starting out, as I said, the debut theme is a great start. So moving on to mobile optimization. So I'm just gonna switch here on the theme editor. Overall, mobile looks good. I mean, most Shopify themes look great in mobile, so that wasn't really an issue there. There aren't too many other customization options. The header condenses down quite nicely. The menu condenses down quite nicely. There is quite a bit of room on top, which isn't my favorite. Although customers are used to scrolling, I would prefer if the top logo was smaller. This way you get more space down to see the rest of the product as soon as you load your page. Especially if you're sending ads to the product page, as most companies will do to advertise specific products. You want the logo to be a little smaller because this information isn't necessary per se. You'd want to see more information on the product, add to cart, and the reviews. In terms of mobile, everything else looks good. So in terms of, oh, and the end of the day, I'd give it a nine out of 10. So overall, good mobile optimization. It's quite uh, responsive and that's very good. Next, we're gonna move on to customizations and features. So we went over the home page. So quite a few features there, but there's lacking some. In terms of product pages, you have stuff like, uh, you may also like, which is suggested section. That's a good idea to get uh, more purchases to your cart and get customers looking at the rest of the products on your website. As mentioned, the header has you can put your logo, it has a promotional bar as well. As for product pages, there are not a ton of customizations. You can do quantity selector, show the vendor, show the name checkout button. So you can buy now and it'll lead you to what I believe is the card page right away. But overall, there's not a ton of customization. Some basic stuff, but yeah, this leads right to the checkout page. So it's a good, decent feature to have as well. I mean, Features, pretty standard, typography, search bar, social media icons at the bottom, which are pretty standard. And cart notifications, good as well. Favicon, these are all pretty standard, so there's not too much differentiation here. So again, same thing with the homepage. It has the basic features that you want, but not necessarily the advanced features you might need for your store. So in terms of features, the score is a seven out of 10. The other thing we're going to test now is speed. So I preloaded two website speed performance tests, so GT Metrics and Pingdom. These speed tests will give you an idea of how fast your website loads. I loaded it on the home page. Right now the home page is quite basic, so I've optimized the images. I went through another video. If you want to click uh, my other videos here, I went to how I built a home page. Image optimization was part of that. So the home page loads quite fast, but overall the theme is quite light. It's not very feature heavy, so it will load quite fast because not as much JavaScript or anything like that loading. So if we go to GT metrics here, scores are 97%, which is extremely high. Full load time, 3.7 seconds. So not as fast as you want to be under the three seconds, but overall it scores well on everything. This may be due to some other, maybe have an app on here that might be delaying that as well. But overall 3.7 is quite fast. 
Pingdom loads it at 1.55 seconds. So GT metrics I find is a little slower typically, Pingdom is faster. Though these are depend really on the servers and machines. GT metrics loads from Canada where as Pingdom loads from the States, you can switch your city here or country here as well. But overall, if you get under three seconds, so 1.5 might average a two, puts it under three. So overall, I'll give it a nine out of 10 for speed. Last category we have is price. And so price obviously is gonna score a 10 out of 10 here. It's free, comes default on the Shopify store. Can't really beat that. Especially when you're starting out, you wanna save money when you can. And the theme is one of those places, depending on the Shopify description, the other apps, your ads. So having a free theme can really make life easier. You can supplement it with some cheap apps as well to give you better navigation, especially like somewhere on the product pages. There is no menu structure, so if you can fit it in there and give you nice collapsible menus, telling you more of the shipping information about us, maybe more product descriptions as well. So overall, 10 out of 10 for the price. So overall, this concludes my review of the deb debut theme. Overall, it's a great starting theme. It's great when you start out, you get information on your products, your homepage, you can customize a little bit, it's lightweight, it's fast, it's easy to use, easy to set up. But if you're looking for more advanced features, it misses out on quite a few of those. So you could supplement that with apps or you could go for a premium theme and get a little more advanced features, a little more customization for your brand. So the overall score is 39 out of 50. This is a good score for a free theme. It doesn't have a lot of customization features, but it is free, especially when you're starting out. You save a little bit of money, it's great overall. If you guys are looking for a guide, it's free. Three secrets to skyrocket your sales. Just click that link below to sign up with your email. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you subscribe and like the video. Thanks.